19 forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. A lot of us waking up this morning and it felt a lot more like fall, certainly more so than what's supposed to be the dog days of summer, the middle of July, typically our warmest that we get all year round. Now this morning, not the case. You saw those temperatures were uh, a lot of places in the 50s this morning, some places uh, down into the low 50s, like around the Sealands Grove area. And then look around Lewistown. It was in the 40s this morning, so some pretty chilly stuff. And it was the same way pretty much region wide up to the northern part of the state, 48 there for the low in both State College and Johnstown. A little bit milder down to the south, but still. Still comfortable temperatures though down there waking up into the 60s. Now, the reason for that is well, we had pretty much high pressure building right in that allowed that uh, little bit cooler air mass to settle in and definitely drier. And we are still seeing that right now on satellite and radar. Nothing going on, high pressure in control. Dew points are staying down today. Right now, we're in the low to mid 50s all across Pennsylvania. So it will be a comfortable one for us the rest of today. Boiling Springs here in the background of the News 8 Storm Team forecast with dry air in place. You can expect lots of sunshine, sunny skies. It'll be Pleasant today uh, with highs climbing up to near 80 degrees this afternoon. Into tonight, mostly clear. We stay comfortable. Lows fall down into the low to mid 60s, so about 10 degrees warmer than what we saw yesterday morning waking up to those temperatures. And I do think there could be some low clouds, especially in our southeastern counties, that we wake up to tomorrow morning, but uh, shouldn't cause too many problems for us. However, as we go through the day tomorrow, the comfortable air is now over with. Our winds shift more out of the southeast. That's going to bring some higher humidity levels in. Also gets a little breezy in the afternoon. So our temperatures come up. The humidity also comes up. And with the added moisture, we are going to see a little bit more in the way of cloudiness. We're going with partly sunny for the day tomorrow, although by tomorrow evening, it could be on the mostly cloudy side of things. We're looking live from York right now, and it's looking really nice. Lots of sunshine here, 72 degrees in the White Rose City. Dew points down into the mid-50s. That's the key. Anytime those dew points climb down into the 50s, it feels very comfortable. Well, we will see them climbing back up as we go into tonight. Temperature-wise, we are sitting in the low to mid-70s uh, for the most part, although you go a little farther to the northwest where we started off a little chillier this morning, like around Lewistown, and it's still into the mid-60s there. But lots of sunshine for us and uh, some pretty dry air in place. You have to go all the way down into the tidewater of Virginia. Virginia to see any sort of cloudiness, and then back west, west of Cincinnati, seeing some showers and some thunderstorms working their way through Chicago, and that's actually our storm system that may be giving us a little bit of rain here as we head into the weekend. But in the meantime, we have this area of high pressure dominating the region up to the north of us, and that's keeping that dry, cooler flow of air into the region as we go into this evening. Now, watch what happens as we go into tomorrow. That high slides off to the northeast. We get more into of a southeasterly wind that's coming directly off of the Atlantic Ocean, so a little bit more moisture along with that. You see some of those low clouds starting to form. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, we will see more clouds moving in. Predictor does bring a shower in late. I think the timing on that will probably be later tomorrow evening and as we go through the overnight with a couple of showers here and there. And then as this uh, warm front lifts on through as we go through the day on Saturday, we could be talking about uh, some pop-up thunderstorms, especially on the high terrain. But the bigger story will be warm and more humid air moving into the region. This weekend will feel much more summer-like, certainly more so than what we're seeing today. So if you can get out and enjoy it today, do it because it will be a nice one. The humidity starts to crank back up into tomorrow and uh, definitely feeling very summer-like as we go through the weekend. Highs in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees both Saturday and Sunday. Could be a few storms there Saturday. Better chance for storms on Monday, but it looks like we clear out. Once again, going into Tuesday and Wednesday, temperatures, though, they're staying in the middle 80s, pretty close to average this time of the year, and it'll feel a little bit more like average, more summer like right. through the rest of the week. So today's kind of an exception. Uh, very fall like feeling, feeling very nice. Get out and enjoy it. All right, yeah, it's beautiful yeah. out there. Thank you, Matt. Mm -hmm.